Within this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the latest Sea of Thieves dev stream. Stay tuned. The host this week was John McFarlane, head of video and creator engagement, joined in the brig by lead designer Andrew Preston. The special guest this week was Tasered and Confused, a streamer on Twitch. The goal of this week's stream was to do some world events. A total of nine obsidian gift sets were given away. There were a few tidbits of information. The new Sea of Thieves news videos will be out tomorrow on YouTube. After avoiding answering when the update will be, John leaked that these videos will be appearing before and after an update, which lets us know that there will be an update in two weeks time. For anyone following Rare or their employees on Twitter will know that Kazooie's statue lost its head in the recent storms from the UK. Someone asked about what's happening to it and it's been taken away, presumably to get fixed. The update should be the last of the tombs. John was unsure if it will be the last chance to get them overall though. John's favourite update is the Cursed Sails because he's still using things from it. Andrew's was the anniversary and Tazed loved the kegs. They will be adding more immortalizations to the game as time goes on. The music that appears when you look at a skeleton ship with a spyglass is officially called a sting. Andrew is working on being able to turn ammo chests into the Merchant Alliance. Will there be more tall tales? Jokingly said no, alluding to there being another one coming in the next update. No prestige system will be introduced, however they are currently working on a way to change your pirate look. In-game voice chat echoes if you're inside the vault. Throughout the stream, they immediately went for an active Fort of the Damned, which was being completed by a duo sloop. Rare proceeded to kill the two pirates and then sink the sloop, taking over the fort. The arms that should appear by the bottom of the statues were bugged, which made it difficult to see which lights were needed. The arm bug fixed itself upon the next wave spawning. The sloop returned with some kegs, hammered the rare brig with cannons, firebombs, and a border carrying a keg. Andrew calmly diffuses the keg, and then the battle continues. Later, the sloop swims across with another keg and the rare crew sink. The rare crew then return to the Fort of the Damned as Andrew tries to tuck on the island, but is found by a roaming skeleton. They return as the sloop was on the final boss. The sloop is sunk and Grey Marrow is defeated as the sloop returns. It's sunk again with the sloop crew mentioning that yes, they are watching the stream. The rare crew turn in the Reaper's chest at the Reaper's hideout and then proceed to the outpost uncontested. They then decide to do a fire skull fort. On the way, they meet the sloop again and start firing, but they beg for mercy and rare decide to alliance with them. They reach the fort, they discover that the duo sloop has been playing for a few weeks and decided to give them all of the loot from the fort. The stream ends just as they complete the fort. In total, they completed no missions, completed a skull fort, stole one fort of the damned, allied with one ship, sunk a sloop three times, killed at least 13 pirates, were realized once, mentioned Greg's twice, and even mentioned me once. However, that's all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Share the video with your friends so we all stay informed. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.